this screenshot shows the software after it is started up and connected to a device. The first screen that comes up is the zero adjust screen. Um, on the right hand side you can see our multimeter connected to the current loop for the 4 and 20 reading and this will be needed so that you know where you're adjusting the zero. So if you go back to the zero adjust screen, the course up, if you hit the up arrow, the output of the unit goes up 4.098, so it's a fairly coarse adjust. If you hit the course down, the output goes back down again. We're back at 4 milliamps. There's also a fine up, which when you hit it, adjusts it about half the amount of the course up. And the fine down button, when you adjust it, brings it back down again. Um, the unit may not be at exactly 4 milliamps. There is a tolerance on this, and it, we could be at 4.003 or 4.005. These adjust in steps, so you may not get exactly 4 milliamps, but you will be able to get it in within the specification of the unit. So if I hit the course up, we're sitting at 4.097. If I don't save these changes using the Save Changes button, when I power the unit down, <clears throat> I'm going to lose that reading. I'm going to power the unit down now. We can see that we have zero milliamps on the meter. We may error out in the software when I do this. But you can see that the output of the unit went back to four milliamps when I powered it back up again. So it did not retain the setting that we had just adjusted it to. If I hit the course up setting, and it goes to 4.098, and then I hit Save Changes. I have the option to yes or no. I want to yes, save the changes. I hit OK. Now when I power the unit down, it will remain at 4.098 milliamps. So I will quickly do that. You'll see the reading go away on the meter and then come back to 4.098. So there we are, we're right back where we started again. That's because we saved the changes. If I, there's a factory restore button at the bottom of the screen. This is more relevant to when you're adjusting the span setting, which I'll show you in a different video. But if you're adjusting this and you get way off in left field or just frustrated and want to go back to the original factory default settings, you can hit factory restore. And you have the option again to hit yes or no. I'm hitting yes and okay and we're back at 3.999 because that's where the unit was set in the factory when it shipped.